Hey guys, this is Calvin from Raw Coding. This is part one of a two-part video series. In this video, I'll be showing you how to create a database on Wix. In the second video, we will be adding user input elements to your Wix website and linking them to your database. Enjoy. Hi guys, I'm currently in the Wix editor and today I'll be talking about Wix databases and how to use them on your website. What we will need to do first is create the database and add the data cells that we require. I've created a database design on Excel spreadsheet to give you a clear understanding of what we will be creating in a second. So this is the database on Excel spreadsheet. We will be creating the exact same database on Wix. The unique identifier will be at the beginning of the row. The second column will be titled name and it will be a text type cell. The third column will contain the user's number. As you can imagine, this will be a number type cell. In the fourth, it will be a date cell where we ask for the user's date of birth. In the fifth, I'll ask a question titled, do you like my videos? This will be a Boolean cell. So Boolean is either yes or no. The sixth column will be a question asking the user what their level of coding experience is. This will be a text cell, but we will be using a special user input element called a list, where the user can choose from three answers, beginner, intermediate, and advanced. Finally, the last question will be asking the user how many days a week they watch tutorials. They will be able to choose the answer using a slider. The slider values range from one to seven. So I'm just going to go back on Wix now. To create a database, press the icon at the bottom left called data. Sometimes you will not be able to see this icon. If you can't see it, refresh the page. Go on to data manager and to create a new database, press this button called create new collection. Title your database. I'm going to title this database as survey and then you can choose what this database collection is for. You can also choose specific permissions depending on what your requirements are. So we're gonna click on form submission, press create collection, and it will generate a new database. The first column here is the unique identifier column. This is generated as standard whenever you create a new Wix database. So now I'm just going to create the database on Wix, referencing from the data design I created in Excel. So to add a new field, press add field, the little plus button next to the column. I'm going to call this field name and it will be a text type. Press add. Next, I'm going to create a field called email. This will also be a text type. Press add. Next, I'll be creating a column called number. We will need to set this field type to number. To change the field type, press the drop down and select number. Press add. The next field will be date of birth. Your database column titles cannot have any spaces. This is due to the Java programming language Wix is running on. The field type for the date of birth needs to be changed to date and time. Press add. The next field will be titled, do you like my videos? This will be a yes or no question. So we will change the field type to a Boolean. Boolean means yes or no. Press add. The next field will be titled, what is your level of experience in coding? The field type for this will be text. Press add. And finally, the last field will be titled, how many days a week do you watch tutorials? This will be a number field. Press add. Now that we've created our fields, it's important that we synchronize this data to the live database. We are currently in the sandbox. The sandbox means that we can edit things without affecting the live database that we have. Currently, we don't have a live database because we haven't synchronized anything. So to add our new fields that we've created, we're going to want to press on sync at the top right. What we want to do is copy all items from sandbox to live and press sync. And now the fields that we've created will be put into our live database. Next, we want to click on the data icon, go on to add data elements and select form data set. Add this to your website by pressing the plus button. The user will not be able to see this icon. This icon is there to connect your Wix editor to your database that you created. To connect it, select the dataset icon, press settings, click on the connect a collection option and choose the database that you created. Make sure it's set to write only. So any input that you require to your user input elements will be written into your database. So at this point, we have created a database and connected our Wix website to the database. All we need to do now is add user input elements and connect these user input elements to the respective cells within the database. This will be shown in part two of the database video series.